Serious landing gear malfunctions are not a common occurrence. Um, generally speaking, the uh, outcome of a landing gear occurrence is quite serious damage to the airplane, but generally speaking, most of the people on board of the aircraft um, will walk away from the, uh, the damaged aircraft um, uh, unharmed. Um, however, uh, although they're not very common, when you get, uh, as SAS has experienced recently, um, two uh, serious landing gear failures uh, within um, a period of three days on the same aircraft type, a Bombardier Q400, uh, then you have to decide what you're going to do. And uh, SAS didn't, he didn't hesitate to uh, ground um, all its uh, Q400s, which had done more than 10,000 flight cycles, uh, because it reckoned it could isolate the problem uh, to uh, those landing gears which had received something of a battering uh, over a number of years. Um, in both cases, the pilots knew that they had a problem with the landing gear before they landed, so they were well prepared um, for what happened. Um, they uh, uh, emptied the aeroplanes of fuel, uh, or almost to the point where they're empty to reduce the risk of fire, um, because uh, if uh, one of the landing gears on one side fails, the propeller is almost certainly going to come in contact with the ground. They know that, so there's a danger of the propeller fr fracturing, and in fact that did happen, and possibly penetrating um, the cabin. So the crews uh, moved uh, all the passengers from the area um, uh, next uh, to the propellers um, and uh, moved them out of that section of the cabin. The crews therefore behaved in an, ex in an exemplary manner. They uh, knew exactly what they should do. Uh, they went through all the drills to try and make sure that they, the, uh, uh, the undercarriage um, uh, could not be made to work. But when they'd established that they couldn't um, uh, get it to lock down properly, uh, they carried out um, uh, landings um, with the emergency services prepared and in both cases, uh, a main landing gear leg actually did fail, uh, and the aircraft in both cases came to a pretty undignified halt. But nobody was hurt, and that is the outcome. That's normally expected under controlled circumstances like these.